As we navigate through these challenging times together, the one question that I'm asked now more than ever is, John, what is going to happen to the real estate market through all of this in 2020? Hello everyone, John Wentworth here, Wentworth Real Estate Group. And uh, although I don't have a crystal ball, I am going to do my best to try to educate you on what's happening now in the market. I also wanna make you aware of what we're seeing coming in the market. And, and then I'm also gonna share with you in this video things that we're doing at the Wentworth Real Estate Group um, to be proactive and get out ahead of the changes that are coming. Uh, first and foremost, uh, you know, I wanna remind you that we are going to get through this. Uh, we're gonna get through this together. And I truly believe in my heart that we're gonna come out at the other end of this stronger than ever. Uh, with that said, also very sensitive to, to any of the families that are directly impacted by this, uh, as so many are. I believe we have to find the silver lining. And uh, as a leader, that's, uh, that's just what I'm focused on doing inside of this video. Uh, I, I wanna provide you with um, some, some data that's gonna be very interesting to you. Um, also, some data that I think is going to make you go, wow, okay, good. I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. And then once that light comes, which we know it will, are you gonna be prepared? And I wanna make sure that you are. So. Let's dive right in. The first date, the first thing that I think is important is to recognize this date, March 23rd. Uh, March 23rd is when the governor deemed that real estate was a non-essential business. Uh, and what did that mean? Well, initially, none of us really knew, right? We had to reach out and try to get more answers, but it meant that we couldn't go in the market and show homes. We couldn't go photograph homes. Uh, we are working virtually. Uh, we have always worked virtually, but now we're really uh, doubling down on that to provide uh, a service for our customers. But let's talk a little bit about that. And I, and I want you to understand also that we've been very proactive in this at the Wentworth Real Estate Group. Um, on March 16th and 17th, all of our employees moved their stuff home so that they could work from home. It was very important to us to provide a safe environment for them and home was the best solution. Uh, on March 20th, uh, I did a video announcing that we would no longer be doing open houses. Again, I just felt like it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the best time to utilize that practice. Uh, so March 20th, we shut down um, open houses and then March 23rd, our governor came on and said that we were deemed non-essential. Um, on April 1st, uh, we put up a COVID release, or excuse me, a COVID resource page uh, for you or your loved ones um, that has information regarding unemployment, information regarding small business loans, uh, information um, that, that you or a loved one may need. So be sure to check that out. I will provide a link for that as well. But this video is about a market update. 2019, March through April, verse 2020, March through April, um, and then diving a little bit deeper on what I believe is coming in the market because I do believe there's a silver lining um, when this is all done. I think that um, the market is gonna be extremely strong, but it's kind of like a tipping scale right now, and I think that sellers are falling behind which is no fault of their own, but they need to be prepared moving forward. And I'm gonna share with you later why buyers need to be more prepared than ever. So let's jump right in. Um, statewide, the state of Michigan. Uh, when we entered March, showings were actually up 19% over 2020, uh, excuse me, over 2019. By March 11th, the showings were up 35%. I think that's another indicator that, man, 2020 was going to be a really, really good market. Uh, we actually had our best February ever, pending more than 60 transactions in February alone. Uh, and so those two things, you know, I think are direct correlations that this was going to be, uh, 2020 was gonna be one of the best markets maybe we've ever seen. I actually think it still could be, and I'm gonna explain why later. Um, but by March 20th, showings had went down 25%. Now that's very interesting because the shutdown was not until March 23rd, as I mentioned earlier. Um, by April 4th, after the shutdown, showings were down 97%. And at this point, they're basically, uh, they're non-existent except for the fact of the virtual showings. Uh, and again, I'm going to touch on this more later. I don't want to digress too much into that, but this is where we are very proactive right now. We just had somebody the other day that had seen a home in the past 
came back to the home, wanted more information. We reached out to the seller to get photos, to get additional video, to help answer those questions, and we did put a transaction together. Let me also say that realtors basically are deemed non-essential, um, which is unfortunate because there are needs for people right now. And you know that that um, it's tough for a lot of us to swallow knowing that we cannot service them at the level we could before. So we're finding different ways. Uh, and one of those is virtual showings. But here's the thing is that appraisers can still go in the marketplace, inspectors can still go in the marketplace, and we can still facilitate closings, which is really important because as I mentioned, we pended over 60 transactions in February um, and providing you know, no job loss or, or things along those lines, those people are going to be able to close and get into their homes. Um, and right now home, there's no safer place for us than home. But here's where I think is, is really an interesting point is that when we look at the, the, the market data inside of our market, right, the number of homes for sale is only down 12%. That isn't a huge number. Um, the number of pending sales is down 11%, not a huge number. But the number of brand new listings that have come to the market since March 1st through April 4th is down 26%. Now, I think that number is much bigger than that. Um, because again, that's from March 1st moving forward. I think if you took that number um, and you compared that to 2019 for the last two weeks of March, that number would be much bigger. Uh, the data inside of our MLS does not allow to do, us to do that, but I will update you on that here in the next, uh, at the end of April, uh, because I think that's when you're going to see a big reduction here. But this also is where I believe the opportunity lies for sellers, because here's what's going to happen is that Right now, and, and our website proves this, right? Um, the number of people looking at homes on our website at johnwentworthgroup.com, maybe a shameless plug, I don't mean it that way, it's just the only place that I can go look to compare is actually higher than it's been in a year and it's higher than it was this time last year. Now, I think there are two things at play there. One, this time of year, buyers are, you know, they're thinking about moving, right? It's something that they planned on doing in the summer. Um, the weather is getting nicer, and that always um, ramps up buyer, uh, you know, buyers jumping into the market. Um, but also, people have more time on their hands, right? And so, it, it would make sense that they're looking at homes more on the internet. Nonetheless, here's what's going to happen: is that the buyers are going to increase. The buyer pool is going to get larger. The seller pool is getting smaller. It's down 26% already. I think in the next two weeks, it's going to go down probably double that. And when this all changes, when we are all able to get back to our lives, and you know, let's hope it's sooner than later, right? Um, although, again, we have to find the silver lining in this, and I will share with you, um, I've just had an amazing, amazing time uh, um, with our family, with my, my wife uh, and our kids. Uh, that bond is, uh, you know, I'm a worker, you know, <laughs> I work a lot and uh, it's just been a blessing to, to be home and to spend so much time with our family and I hope that you've been able to take advantage of that as well. So, excuse me, I digress, but uh, you know what, we got to find the silver lining. Let's get back to the data, let's get back to the stats, let's get back to what we're going to do to be prepared uh, when things turn around. Um, so, you know, the, the, once this does change, there are going to be so many buyers jumping into the market. Now, hopefully those buyers are prepared. I'm going to talk about that in a moment. Uh, the problem is there's not going to be a lot of listing inventory. Like if you want to list your home right now and you call me, you know, I, I can't send a professional photographer. I cannot send our videographer. Like I can't do all of those things that we need to do, which are super vital to having a great marketing presentation, right? I can't do an open house. Um, we can show homes virtually. We are selling some homes virtually right now, um, but those are on a small scale. And I'm talking about when we get back to, you know, a new norm, if you will. So here are some of the shifts that we're making to, to deal with that. First and foremost, we are offering now um, virtual consultations, right? So you can reach out to us. Actually, that's another link that I'm going to have below. Uh, just simply click the link and you can schedule a consultation uh, with one of our uh, premier agents, right? And whether you're a buyer or a seller, I think that both buyers and sellers need to get out ahead of this, guys. Um, you know, we always say buyers need to get pre-approved and all of those things. But now more than ever, because, you know, 
this market is going to be, I believe, ultra competitive. And when the floodgates open, if, if you're not up to speed, you're going to miss out on a lot of opportunity. And, and I'm speaking specifically right now to buyers. But here's the other thing is that most sellers are also buyers. So really, uh, this applies to, to everyone. Having a conversation um, up front with a, a professional and trusted lender, with a professional and trusted agent, collectively. You know, I think it's important now more than ever that we are working together. And so you're having that conversation um, to really understand what is your buying power? How maybe maybe you've experienced a short-term layoff um, and how is that going to affect when you're actually ready to purchase? I mean, there are so many variables right now that didn't exist before. Um, and so if you're in the market in 2020, uh, click the link below to schedule a consult, whether you're buying or selling. Um, for sellers, here are some of the other things that we are doing because I think the sellers, it takes a little bit more time to prepare your house to get it on the market. And boy, I'm just telling you, I believe in my heart that uh, once the floodgates open, if you're not on the market, you're going to miss a lot of opportunity. Um, and so what can the sellers do? Well, again, video consultations with our listing specialist going to be very important. Uh, we are also, uh, and, and by the way, we've just listed uh, a home yesterday doing this. You know, we signed all of the paperwork. We talked about, we did a video walkthrough. We actually brought in a virtual stager, which is what I'm going to talk about here in a moment. Um, you know, we set a range on the price because obviously we don't know what's going to happen in the market, but every, all the, all of the other stuff is done. The conversation has been had, the paperwork is signed. We know where we're headed. We just don't know when we're going to do it, but we're going to be ready to strike as soon as we're able. Um, and that's going to be huge because these people are going to all of the professional photography, videography, all of the marketing is going to be put in place and they're going to be able to get on the market within 72 hours uh, of this uh, ban, if you will, being lifted. Uh, virtual staging, I think, is going to be super important right now. You know, uh, home homeowners right now have time on their hands. Um, most people are at home. And so it's a great opportunity to to really focus on the exterior of your home. Now, you know, bringing that up to date, we always say curb and peel is, is very important. Uh, but now more than ever, I think staging is going to be important because we've never lived in our homes <laughs> as much as we are now, right? And so we're going to bring in a virtual stager. Um, they will be able to look at your home through video and make suggestions about moving furniture, decluttering, um, uh, you know, moving furniture around, maybe even reducing furniture, uh, but making the most of what you have is again going to be very important. But, but share this video with anybody that you think is in the market to buy or sell in 2020 because I can assure you this from my heart that the people that are proactive, um, I'm, they're going to save time and a lot of money uh, when when we are deemed essential and the floodgates open because I really believe that 2020 still could be um, one of the best years in real estate. There is a lot of data coming out from big, um, big players in the industry. Goldman Sachs put out some data that the third and fourth quarter of 2020 are going to be the two strongest quarters that we've ever seen in real estate. Um, you know, I don't know. I probably, uh, I probably uh, wouldn't argue that. So let me make sure I haven't missed anything. Um, again, drop in the comments. Um, if you have any questions, you can direct message me. Um, you can call us at 810-955-6600. Uh, visit our website at johnwentworthgroup.com. And uh, I think that's probably it. I hope that you guys are doing well. Uh, I hope that you're safe. And um, I hope that you found this uh, information valuable. And that's all I've got for you. God bless you guys. Uh, stay safe and uh, we'll see you soon.